Greetings and welcome back to Crusader Kings 2. So last time we managed to fight off King Karl in a holy war and we took over these two counties and in doing so we gained a whole bunch of holdings because uh, everyone except for this bishop here was a heretic themselves so we personally deposed of all of them and we captured their holdings. So we kind of have to hand out these spoils of war now. So let's take a look at how we can do that. First of all, okay, well, first of all, I have quite a few sons. I have four, and I think that's a little too much. <laughs> now, seeing as you can't kill your own sons, and I honestly wouldn't really want to do that anyway, because it's kind of, uh, I don't know, odd. But uh, we got this guy here. Uh, he's a 10, he's slow, he's a... Well, he's my last son. He's not really that important. So, what I'm going to do with him is... I'm going to grant him... This bishopric, right here. That'll make it so that he... Cannot inherit anything else. And, well, basically, just get rid of him. So, there we go. That's one down. Now we have three sons. Oh yeah, I guess this one is still a son, but... Uh, <laughs> I'm not uh, going to count him anymore. So, um, we got three sons. If we take a look at the title loss on succession, we will be losing the uh, county of Naonet to Daniel. The, we will lose Kernev to... Uh, what the hell is that sort of name? An Anuo? <laughs> Crap, I'm not even gonna try. Uh, and we lose another... Uh, actually, we lose the city to Daniel as well. Yes, the cities. So, let's give this one to a random vassal and this one as well. Let's get rid of the cities. And now we have two counties that are still going to be inherited by uh, my other two sons. Now that still leaves me on a six out of a five, uh, out of four, but uh, if I... Yeah, I gotta wait until we go to low centralization, then I will have six out of five. So that means that I still gotta get rid of one county. And the uh, good thing to do is give one to my heir. Because this means that once he comes in power, that county will be added to all the rest that he inherits due to Gavalkind. So, uh, I've been thinking about which one to give to him. And I think I'll be giving Lyon, because it does have a trade route. And uh, it is quite a... Uh, it has a decent tax base. So, yeah, I'll give him Lyon. That'll also allow him to earn a bit of money. County of Lyon and the lower titles. There we go. Alright. And now we just need to put him back into his martial seat. Where is he anyway? No, that's not him. I guess I gotta wait for it to tick. And we have now low centralization. There we go. And now we are at 5 out of 5. Good, now let's reappoint my son. And let's get him to train troops in my capital again. So, that's all been fixed. So we will only be losing two counties due to Cavalkind, which isn't too bad. That will still leave us with four counties afterwards, once uh, my heir comes into power. I also apparently have to educate someone, so... My daughter, the one that I betrothed to the uh, king of, well, a prince of Mercia. Uh, let's see. Where can we send you off to? I guess I could do it myself. Yeah, let's do it myself. I got really nothing much else to do at the moment. Uh, other than that, there's not all that much to do. In the meantime, we can take a look at what the hell is happening over at West Francia, because he is still in quite a few wars. He is also defending against a uh, revolt in Brabant. So he's got a... Oh, and another thing was added. So, now he's defending against Amlung the Terrible. Oh, okay. That's just uh, this guy, apparently. So yeah, he's uh, having... Uh, some rather uh, hard times. He only has 2k levies. Wow, somehow he... Just uh, a while ago, when I was watching how much levy he 
was supposed to have. He was only at about 3,000. That means the maximum levy. He had about uh, 3,000 from vassals. Apparently, he had... He gained a lot more. Not sure what the hell happened, but still. Uh, he apparently will have a big army if it's allowed to regenerate. Okay, well... There must be more to life than this. Lose a straight content. I think that's good. Yes, it is. So, yeah, there's a lot going on. And also, for further expansions, I will have uh, bigger problems because these two counties, they were the Jure part of my uh, duchy and also part of the kingdom that I can't really make yet so even though I took it no one else really has any de jure claim on it so that didn't really cause too much problems but if I want to expand any further for example if we take a look at all the uh, other wars I can do holy wars so we could take uh, Anjou which kind of seems like the natural extension of Brittany uh, we can take Normandy over here or we can take Poitou which is down here and all of these I think are part of the de jure kingdom of West Francia no that's not what I wanted as you can see de jure West Francia is uh, Normandy, Anjou, uh, Poitou and some other stuff down here so if I were to take these duchies he would have a uh, ducal claim on all of them or a not ducal claim he'd have a claim on those and that would be pretty bad because then he is allowed to fight back and that could end bad anyway we have a traveling poet uh, okay I could gain cynical uh, until yeah let's just go with cynical for now it's gonna go away soon Wait a minute, I'm shy? When did that happen? It's not too good. Right. Well, as I said, any further expansion in here will be a lot more difficult. And I still gotta wait about 10 years until I can actually do something like that. So yeah, I... He isn't doing too well though. <laughs> as you can see, he's, uh, his levy is pretty much always low. He's in a lot of wars now. That's totally awesome. And all this was kicked off because he wanted to press his claim on Bavaria. Lombardy came in. I saw the opportunity. And then things started snowballing. Then this dude... No, actually, uh, Burgundy is Karl's own fault because... Uh, where is he? Here. So he wanted to revoke Carcassonne, which is down here. And, well, honestly, if he didn't do that, this dude wouldn't have uh, revolted against him. I, he, had, he would have uh, a lot less problems, so that's honestly, he's uh, very much his own mistake. <laughs> right, what else can we do in the meantime? Um, oh, apparently we have built barracks. I guess that was already building before I took it. That's uh, quite nice. And how is my son doing? He should be gaining a bit of money. Actually, a nice amount of money. 1.5 a month. That'll make sure that he has quite a uh, treasury when he comes into power. Oh dear. And that may be pretty soon if uh, this continues. I don't feel too well. Please kill me. Well, I'd rather not. Not yet anyway. Although then again, if he were to die, the truth would be gone and I could push something else. <laughs> so uh, yeah, there's always an upside and a downside to things. Okay, now we have... Wait, who the hell is... Oh right, we were talking to the uh, mayor back here. It's uh, somewhat confusing when you have a bishop as a chancellor. I always think it's the chaplain that is reporting in. Apparently someone died. My daughter-in-law. Oh, crap. 
And he got another wife. Who is absolutely terrible. She has lost full toe, but that's kind of the downside about sending out your heir. Because, well, you, you pretty much lose control because he's no longer in your court. So, yeah, that's not great, but I hope he uh, doesn't do too many stupid things. Also, I gotta keep an eye on my grandson because I would like to educate him myself when he comes of age. So, because otherwise uh, my son might send him off to someone or educate him himself and give some awful traits and this is supposed to be the uh, heir of my heir so it's gonna be uh, the second generation of the people in power and I gotta keep an eye on it to make sure that he's uh, decent so the fever is gone okay that's good but anyway I'm actually glad that this person is terrible with intrigue because he does have a son with the other woman and this person probably doesn't like that all that much and might want to kill the son but seeing as she has a terrible intrigue that probably will not work so the lady almost ran me down as I entered the hall tearfully she told me that my daughter oh crap these names had insulted her again <laughs> um, do we make her honest? Do we piss everyone off? Oh uh, yeah, let, let mix, let's make her honest. You know, at this rate, he, oh, okay, never mind. He just uh, turned 50, which changed his portrait. I almost thought that, like, uh, he died maybe. Um, I watched my daughter, I'm not even going to try and read all these names. Uh, play with another child. Alright. Do we make you greedy? Not sure if that's even useful. Charitable. Yeah, okay. Let's try. Okay, well, she lost greedy. That's totally fine. In the meantime, I am... Gathering money because I do have the MS Welt um, ambition, so might as well go for that. Uh, what have we got now? A man claiming to be a lord who disappeared seven years ago has found his way to my castle. He sings of the fair queen of Elfland, and some say his songs are prophetic. Okay. You would gain one marshal for 10 prestige. I think that's totally good. Honestly, 10 prestige isn't that much. And. Or I could gain kind, which is. More diplomacy, more opinion. Uh, I'd rather go for marshal. The price is low. Honestly, 10 prestige isn't that bad. Just something to not make a habit out of, but still. 10 prestige for one. Um, stat point, what the hell do you call these things anyway? Ability point, I don't know. Alright. Uh, my steward is dead. Long live my steward. Let's get another one. We should have a few good ones. Okay, maybe not. Let's... Let's give the job to my son, and he can go collect taxes. With some luck, he has an accident. <laughs> the peasants strike him down. And I say it with some luck, because if he uh, becomes less powerful, he'll be less of a threat. Honestly, he's not really much of a threat at all. Anyway, seeing as he's only good at stewardship, which is actually very good. I like all my counts to be only good at stewardship, and the rest to be terrible stats because that's good <laughs> that means they would earn a lot of money and would have a lot of money to spend on improving all the buildings I hope he uh, builds some things as well because I'm not gonna be building anything I'm waiting until I get 500 I think it was
Holy crap, look at that. More uh, revolts. So yeah, that was totally awesome. At the end of the war, I did crush some of his uh, remaining armies to make sure that he is very low and he pretty much stays low. So this will be very interesting. Although something I do need to keep in mind is that uh, a lot of these people here are heretics. So for example, this guy back here is a heretic as well. And yeah, that means that I don't really want to ally with him. So that uh, does complicate matters just a little bit. I'm kind of uh, an island back here, surrounded by heretics. I can only hope that Lombardy and Bavaria uh, do a proper job at fighting off West Francia. Look at all that. That's totally awesome. If he loses all that land... In the meantime, not all that much is happening, unfortunately. Uh, my beloved son is concerned that he is still not married. I'll find you someone. Okay, let's let's go take a look. So, who do we have available? Preferably someone with a decent stewardship. A fortune builder, fortune builder. Might have touched. Oh yeah, and one thing uh, that I was thinking about is that if I... When I usually play, I avoid Cavalkind, pretty much like almost everyone that is playing that game, I suppose. But the uh, thing is, when I avoid Cavalkind, I usually make my alliances with my sons and daughters so that I have uh, some room to give a uh, to give a good woman to my, uh, to my heir. But uh, I don't really have that luxury now, because if I make nice alliances with my sons, then that means they will have nice alliances and not me when they come into power and yeah when you're not in Gavalkind none of your other sons will ever get into power so th those alliances pretty much count for you and not for them but uh, yeah these guys will be counties and that means that if they if they cause any problems and they have some nice allies that I uh, that I made for them so uh, <laughs> That would cause problems. So let's make sure that we don't give a, a powerful ally to this guy. Because that could cause problems. Uh, what do we got? I don't know. I'm just going to go with someone with decent stats. This is just a Baroness. I think that's fine. Let's give you to this person. And we get some... Um, up in with a bishop. Let's take a look. So, ooh, that's nice. We got these two on our side. Now we gotta go and talk to the other ones. So... Oh, okay. Um, well, this guy is useless. Uh, he's already 100% behind the Pope. So, even if I bring this one up to 100%, he's never gonna pay to me. So, let's take a look at the other ones. Um, which one has the most money? So we got... That's probably my son, I'm thinking. Let's take a look at the vessels. Um, at the bishops. So we got these two. And not this one. This one has 15.8. And the other one has 10. So let's go and talk to... Uh, this bishop here. Which is of the bishopric of Pimplol or something similar. Uh, I think it's this guy. Yeah, okay. So we're gonna go talk to the person in this county. Hoping to get him on our side so that he pays taxes to me. And apparently, we have a daughter of my son. Okay, my uh, second son. That's good. He seems to be gathering a few more troops. He's up to 2,000 and something now, but he is losing them again. Which isn't very surprising, seeing as he's at war with pretty much everyone at the moment. How is the war progressing anyway? Oh, Bavaria is about to win. Uh, I guess that's good and bad. 
good thing is that he won, but uh, the bad thing is that that war will be over, and that means that Karl will be able to send his troops to go and fight other people. Right, we got a, another uh, traveling poet, the bard. Um, let's see if we let him stay. What does my chancellor think? I found out that Bishop Guetanan had introduced the bard to the court, and I told him how much I appreciated that. Finally, someone who can sing. Okay, so that's good. Uh, we get some uh, opinion with our chancellor. And another trait. Well, not a trait, just uh, a buff somewhere. I think. Maybe not. Oh, and the other bishop son. <laughs> Uh, what do we do with that? Let's make him patient. And yeah, let's make him patient. Oh, and the war with Bavaria is over. Now he just has to deal with all the uh, rebellions. And we still got the Duke. Oh, and some more stuff popped up now. So... <laughs> oh, that's so nice. He's totally occupied. However, I still need um, I still need about three years until I can start another fight. Uh, what did I say? Three years, uh, seven years. So that's still quite a while. Of course, in the meantime, I could try and attack Cornwall, as I mentioned before. Start of the Viking Age. Okay. So yeah, do I take Cornwall? For one, it is Britain, so I guess that's the only part of it that is kind of justifiable, because I am Britain myself, but... Oh, uh, what do we got? I gave the priest such a scolding, okay, and my courtier overheard it. Yes, that what is what I thought, okay. I'm not gonna read everything, so uh, apparently he agreed, so that's very good. Oh, okay. So, they didn't like all the uh, recruiting and all that sort of stuff, so uh, level reinforcement trade is down. But then again, we aren't at war, and it's only down for how long? Well, about a year, I suppose. Half a year. So that's not too bad. How much levy do I have anyway? Ooh, that's quite nice. Uh, 2,600. That's actually... Plus my vessels. I, I'll have 3,300, uh, something like that. 3,400. That's actually quite a lot, I must say. More than he has. Of course, if he were to die, that would be nice. Then I can attack him, again, attack him again. Also, I've been thinking about which duchy to go for. And the thing is that uh, Anjou is very small. Two counties. And if I am... Well, yeah, I gotta take these for uh, for one, to make myself stronger. And to make, him, to make him weaker. So the best choice would be to go for a duchy. That's... What the hell is this? Okay, someone has a claim on something. I'm not going to be fighting for a barony, but... Yeah, Anjou is very small, so it wouldn't really make all that much of a difference, to him at least, if I were to take this. So the choice is Normandy, which is four counties, or a Poitou, which is also four counties. Normandy is actually normally five counties, but uh, this uh, Duke of Burgundy actually holds this one. So, that actually also means that... I'd be able to press a Ducal claim on this guy. And actually I'd be able to just press a Holy War against him as well, seeing as he is a heretic. And he would be bordering me. So I'd be able to press against him. And then probably I'd be able to press against him again. So yeah, it's, it's quite nice. All this heretic stuff. 
especially as long as uh, Karl is very much occupied with all the uh, rebellions, revolts, I suppose. And this person is taking over Nasso, which is... I'm not even sure where the hell it is. Oh, right here. Okay, so do I want to take over that? How is that war going? That would be nice. So, uh, they're actually winning. That's very good. Okay, some more opinion with the mayor. In the meantime, my grandson is four. Uh, when is his birthday? July 3rd, okay. That's in about two years, three years. I'm not sure, I know. So, um, again, my vessel, okay, that's quite good. Uh, what's his opinion? Oh, crap, he uh, created the... No, wait, he didn't. Yeah, he just fought against... He ended the war with Burgundy, so... I'm guessing Burgundy won. And he uh, regained control of Carcassonne. But now he is part of West Francia again. So... That means he has a lot more troops now, again. That's a kind of... Um, Unfortunate, <laughs> but still, he's uh, quite busy. So yeah, do I take Cornwall? I might as well. Let's go send our Chancellor over there. Wait, what did I, did I do? Okay, there we go, Cornwall. Now this is very threatening to see. <laughs> I'm surprised why he doesn't create the uh, empire. He should have enough land. Maybe not. Not sure. That's a lot of revolts, but I think in the long run he should be able to crush them one by one. He should be uh, regaining a lot of troops every time. So let's see how it's actually playing out. I think one of them disappeared, so... Oh, that was fast. Okay, that's nice. Um, so he's winning this one. He is losing this one. He is... Oh, this uh, Peasant Revolt is actually winning. That's nice. Uh, these guys are winning. These guys are winning as well. Okay. And now we got uh, lose some gold and prestige. Let's just uh, use it. Now this guy has... Less troops than me. And he is allied with the Petty King of East Anglia. Which is this guy. Who has... Not that many troops, so that shouldn't be too much of a problem. A bit resistance. Okay, well that's not great. Oh yeah, he is losing troops again, I guess because he's pretty much constantly fighting and he's actually leading troops himself in Paris nonetheless now he's in Orléans so he is going this way or something possibly over here so we got I have avoided my courtiers for so long one of them has started to mistrust me who the hell are you my mayor spy master or maybe not, wait. Uh, after ducking out of Mayor Sinhudel's sight, I realized that he must have been, must have seen me and felt ridiculous. Oddly, the man ignored me and seemed to have stopped taking notice of me. Okay, so he doesn't really like me anymore. But still, he liked me enough. He actually has a very high intrigue. He is my spy master after all. But he's about to die anyway. He's old. So 
to get not all that much action during this episode. But uh, next time we can actually go and take over, well, at least the county of Cornwall. Which reminds me, we should be moving my chancellor to someplace else. Um, let's make him make some, uh, get some better opinion with some people in the capital. Okay, now we got the levy reinforcements. We got a decent amount of troops. Alright, well, anyway, I'm going to be ending this episode right here. So, uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you very much for watching, and see you next time.